Hello everyone, this is she, Miss Nawundu, and welcome to my channel named right after my name. Listen, set your face like flint and dig your heels in deep and stand. Because just because you now have your dream, it doesn't mean that the enemy will now leave you alone. He will continue to afflict you and affront you and bring to your face and bring to your blessing difficulty and bring to your blessing everything that he can think of to bring that will discourage you, that will frustrate you, that will make you question that this is the blessing. That's why I say to you, dig your heels in and set your face like flint and stand and understand that your blessing has come and it is here. But you don't get to keep your blessing easily. Not because God has set it up that way, but because the enemy is set up that way in his mind and his heart. The enemy is set up that he will work through people, uh, he will work through your colleagues, he will work through your manager, he will work through your boss to make the blessing difficult for you. Now don't you go and throw your blessing away. You've been praying for a job, you eventually get a relevant job. A career type of job, not just any kind of job. But the enemy brings management to you that is horrible. Brings an environment to you and filled with horrible people. Wickedness. It doesn't mean that that's not the dream. It means that you have to navigate with your spiritual armor on. You have to navigate with your spiritual armor on and set your face like flint and dig your heels in deep and be determined that you are not giving up your dream over some attacks. You are not, you are not giving up your dreams over some affronts. You are not giving up your dreams over some difficulty thrown your way, some uh, inconvenience thrown your way. You are not giving up your dream. And understand and know that God is watching. He is watching as you stand, as you take the BS, as you take the difficulties, the affronts, as you take the unkind management or uncaring management. He's watching. And what you plant, what seed you plant, will multiply in your life. Don't worry about what the enemy is doing and who is allowing the enemy to work through them. What you, you reap what you sow, they will reap what you sow. You stand in the blessing and continue to express your gratitude, no matter how difficult it gets. I don't know who you are and where you are. I could even be talking to myself. But when your blessing has come, understand that you don't get to keep it with ease. There's always going to be affronts. There's always going to be attacks. There's always going to be things that try to undercut that you have now arrived at the blessing. Things that are going to try to undercut your, your, your security, undercut and make you question if this is the blessing. Dig your heels in deep and stand because this is it. This is what the blessing looks like. You wouldn't be getting attacked if it didn't matter. You wouldn't get the affronts if it didn't matter. You wouldn't have a horrible uh, manager if it didn't matter, if it wasn't it. This is what the territory comes with. It comes with enemies still contesting for their territories. It comes with enemies still contesting for you to not have a job, for you to not have the blessing, for you to not be promoted, for you to not be in the thing that you have stepped into that God has promoted you on, into. I'm here to encourage you to stand. Dig your heels in and set your face like flint and put on your spiritual armor every day. And take in your daily bread, which is the word of God, every day.
and pick up that sword that is the word of God and know that you are going into battle. But at no point are you going to let anyone take the blessing away from you. If they construe and plan and in wickedness plan to make sure that you lose your blessing, don't you worry. The word of God says where sin abounds, there grace superabounds. Don't you worry. Know that if, if whatever they plan that is wicked, that gets you kicked out, works out, know that God is going to deck a table before your enemies and do something even greater that swallows up and far surpasses and thwarts the wicked thing that was done to kick you out of your blessing, your God-given blessing. That's why I say don't worry, cast your care and take the peace of God which is your rightful inheritance. In the midst of all the affront, don't you worry because God is watching what you are planting and is watching what those who work against you are planting and they will get their share. But get your share which is abounding grace. Don't give up your share over some wickedness. Don't do a tooth for a tooth and an eye for an eye because that's the kind of share that you're going to get back. Stand in your integrity and your righteousness. Dig your heels in deep and set your face like flint and look at the enemy dead in the eye and stand and know that your blessing is your blessing and it's here and that you are here to stay. And keep confessing that this is your blessing. This is your blessing. No matter how difficult, no matter what the challenge is, this is your blessing. And until God changes his mind and wants you to promote you to something else, this is your blessing. This is your blessing for now. Don't you let anyone's unkindness and meanness and pettiness and snideness kick you out of your blessing. That's the territory that blessings come with. You don't think those who have been um, removed, who have been supplanted from the territory, are not fighting to get back into the territory? You don't think those who have been kicked out, you don't think those illegal previous settlers being dispossessed from a territory that they illegally occupied are not going to come back and try to get it back illegally still? They still are. They're not going to go away, but you have to stand and fight the good fight. Stand and fight the good fight and keep saying that and keep declaring that this is your blessing. And no one is taking your blessing away from you. And ask God to fight for you, with you, and for you because he says he, he's for you. Know your word and pick up that sword that is the word and speak it to the situation when your blessing is being challenged. When your position and your, uh, your promotion is being undercut and being challenged. And someone is trying to insinuate that you're not supposed to be here. You need to speak back to that voice that says you're not supposed to be here. You actually don't know what you need to know. Right? I might not know what I need to know, but you know what? The one who lives on the inside of me knows everything that I need to know and will bring me to the knowledge of it when I need to know it. And that's what I've found in situations such as this. Where your blessing is being challenged, your blessing is being questioned, your blessing is being, um, you know, someone is trying to take your blessing away from you. Stand and fight. Stand, dig your heels in, set your face like flint, look at the enemy in the eye and stand. Stay prayed up. This is the only way you're going to make it through. Dig your heels in, set your face like flint and stay prayed up and stand and put on your, your, your spiritual armor and stand. This is the only way you're going to keep your territory that is called your blessing. 
You've been watching Miss Nobundu. I will see you next time. Stay blessed and be blessed. If you like this video, please don't forget to thumbs up below and also subscribe if you like everything else that you've seen on the channel, as well as share with your friends in the village so that they can know to come back to this page. Also, if you are a South African friend, please create your own profile on YouTube so that you can subscribe to my page and uh, get all the latest updates that I update onto my channel. Thank you and I will see you next time. Let's go.